I went to school just to please my dad Developed some anger as aftermath I fell off the course while you wait for a Porsche I'm coming in late off a helipad I ain't got that money Yo, what's no going on everybody? We are done with Christmas We're moving on to New Year's So there's still a reason to drink Okay, don't judge me And, uh, you know, I just want to share some socks Because I'm appreciative of these socks If you're appreciative of anything this year Because I know it was a tough year for me and my family and you're appreciative of something small or something big. I mean, maybe you're balling. Who cares? Share it in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. We can get a little discussion going. But anyways, we're going to jump right into this. We are talking about Ghost Chain NFTs. All right, so starting off looking at their Twitter. They have 2.6K followers on their Twitter. And if we go over to their Discord, they have 1.7K followers on their Discord. So a decent little following. We can go over to their white paper. I have already made a giant summary of what this is, so I'm not going to read through the entire uh, white paper like I've done in the past. But instead, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna talk about their floor price real quick. Now, I don't know why there's only 400 listed, but their floor price is close to 200 ADA on CNFT.io. This is a little concerning to me because even with the most important products, uh, projects rather, uh, even with Claymates and Space Buds, there's at least a thousand listed. Even if people don't plan on actually selling them, there's at least a thousand listed. Uh, this is a 10k project, so I don't know why only 400 are listed. There was a problem with CNFT.io about a week ago with another project that just launched. It was a brand new project and only, I think, maybe 200 were listed or something like that. And the floor price was way higher than they were supposed to be. They came out, they fixed the issue, and then it turned out the floor price was only like 30 or 40 ADA. So I'm not sure if this is an issue or if this is the real price, but um, this is what it is for now. Now something cool about this project is they came out with their soul token. And how they view this is when you die, your soul splits up and it goes onto the blockchain of Cardano. And your soul can have different DNA strands. And the DNA is listed in their metadata for their NFTs. And now the rarer your DNA is, the more soul tokens you receive. And the more soul tokens you receive is based on how many uh, has been split into the DNA. So, for example, if you died and your DNA went into two or four or five, whatever NFTs, then you would get a certain percentage of soul tokens. But if you uh, if you had your DNA not split or it's just like a one of one DNA, then you would get even more soul tokens. So if yours is split with two, you'd get more than somebody who's split with three. And somebody who's with three would get more than somebody who's split with four or five, etc. All right, so I'm going to be using this as an opportunity to segue into all the utility and value that they're trying to add to their holders. So the soul token isn't valuable yet, but it's something that you're going to be able to spend in their metaverse. So kind of like a currency in the future. Uh, the other thing that they said, let me look at my notes here. They said that there's going to be a percentage of their marketplace is going to be given to the NFT holders. They say it's going to be 100% net profit after they pay for the upkeep and maintenance and all that sort of thing. So as long as they break even, the rest of their profits will be given back to their holders. Next, they say they're going to be creating a gallery and they've actually already created the gallery. So I'm gonna go and show that now. So we'll go over here and this is what their, their uh, free roam website looks like at the moment. You'll click on marketplace and it's not actually a marketplace at the moment. You'll just go to collection and it shows you all of their NFTs in their own, you know, view. You can go to rank and you'll see the, uh, the legendaries up here. And the legendaries all have this special orange background and it shows you the percent. They're all 0.01%. And you can kind of go and you can look at them. And it's kind of cool. What is this one? Legendary ghost. And now let's go check and see how much these are on CNFT.io. So here's a Charmander one. That's 250,000, oh my God, that is ridiculous. Dude, every time I, I see a Charmander, like of anything, I just think of that one Pokemon episode where they leave the Charmander in the rain. Poor freaking Charmander. But yeah, we can see all the legendaries up here. We can see they're, they're worth a lot. Who really knows who's gonna pay what for these, but they do look cool. I'll say that much, but moving on. So I'm just gonna briefly speak about how they did their pre-sale, uh, just cause I think it's a little interesting to know. Uh, they gave value to the first 1000 and they sold them for only 25 ADA a piece. And then on top of that, they also said 5% of all of these ghosts would have a pre-sale exclusive item that were uh, gold items. So 
it would be like a gold cape, gold cap, gold trident type of thing. And it was only 25 ADA. And then once those were sold out, they went to their main sale. And then they upped it by 10 ADA for the next 1,000. And then for the 1,000 after that, it was 40 ADA, so 5 ADA incre uh, increase. And then for the last 7,000, they bumped it up to 50 ADA. And those sold out already, and now there's 10K floating around in the wild. All right, we're gonna wrap things up here talking about their incentives and uh, they really do focus on trying to add value to their holders and that's extremely apparent in pretty much everything they've done. They've even went as far as to not giving any NFTs that they created to any members. They told all their members, their developers, everything. If you wanna have one of these, you need to buy just like everybody else. So I think that's pretty cool. And then we'll go down here and we'll see all of the other things that they're creating. So they've already created their gallery. They're always improving. Uh, the next thing they need to build is the marketplace. That's where their first um, proceeds will go to uh, give back to their holders. And then it's going to be the ghost chain experience, which is going to be a virtual gallery that you can walk around. And it says this is where they're going to have the beginning of the Ada ghost hunt. And it's also going to be the basis for their metaverse. So I don't know how it's going to be the beginning of the ghost hunt. Maybe there's like a step one where you need to find a certain ghost and then it gives you a clue. Maybe that'd be kind of cool. Their ghost DNA. So we've already talked about the DNA and how it's split with your soul and how you get uh, your tokens. But they also say there's this on-chain fusion mechanism coming in the future. So that'll be interesting to see as well. Maybe you can take the two that have the same DNA and fuse them together. Maybe that would be pretty cool. Uh, but this is the ghost hunt that they were speaking of above. It's going to be a one-of-one -one black edition ghost that they haven't minted yet, and her name is Ada. And the way to figure uh, or find her is through a bunch of clues, challenges, and games in the metaverse that they're creating. And if you do win, you'll get the ghost, and you'll also get 1k Ada. So that's going to be freaking awesome if you happen to win that. I'm imagining that ghost is going to go for a lot, especially if they already have a metaverse and these values are already high it's probably gonna be worth quite a bit. And last is gonna be the metaverse. So these kind of go hand in hand. But uh, yeah, guys, this is Ghost Chain NFTs. Uh, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Remember to get outside, see your family and your friends, go drink some alcohol, go get a little stupid. It's the holidays, man. Maybe not on a Monday, okay? Maybe not on a Monday. But at least for New Year's Eve, you know, go get a little stupid for yourself. All right, anyways, guys, appreciate you for watching. Have a good day, peace. Like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung, I wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced, cause I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy.